Complete. Yep. Complete. Ready? Now! Ben! Ben! Emmett is a fantastic athlete. Number one, he shows up to practice every day. He is, is just a great kid to coach. He, uh, if I tell him, you know, hey, work on this, we need to master that, he tries to do it to perfection. Uh, he is an excellent teammate. He's always pushing his teammates. He's positive. Uh, so, and, and then on top of that, he's a racer. He loves to race. Loves beating everyone, loves pushing his body to the next level. So he's, he's, a, he's a great kid, love coaching. What makes Emmett a good rower is his ability to simplify his approach to the sport and then allow himself to stick to a plan and put in the time that is needed to succeed. So Emmett has done that very well. He's always put in the extra time. And I would say, um, he wants to learn. He's open to feedback. So his ability to put in the time needed and um, his openness to being coached and then progressing with those points. I'm Emmett Patterson. I row for Woodrow Wilson High School and I got recruited to row D1 at Cornell in Next year. I have been rowing since eighth grade. Um, Wilson has an eighth grade rowing program where they let eighth graders row um, as like freshmen so or as novices and I started then and I've been rowing ever since so this is my fifth year. I've done lots of sports in the past like baseball, soccer, uh, track and they're all like they all have they're all team based in a, to an extent but it's really not like rowing where you all have to work together to meet a certain goal like one even just one person not doing their best on a boat will make it not go nearly as fast as it could like this is in, in opposition to like soccer where like you can have like half your team not really do much and then the rest of the team can carry it you need every player in the boat to be working together and it's that environment that i really like about it something that's really unique about rowing is i mentioned this before but it's the team aspect and how one person can make or break a boat but also how the people on your team become like your friends and like you spend a lot of time a lot more time with them in that sport than you would in other sports it's like it's like how some people might like to like travel like a travel sport it's like that but all the time where you're always with your friends you're always with the people on your team and then they kind of meshes together and it becomes like an environment where you guys are always like working towards something together to become better and it's that environment that I really like and it's something that people should really like look at and see that that's unique about this sport. My sophomore year um, is where I really like I said before kicked into high gear and I really did that by just after practice I just get an extra 20 minutes in on the erg an extra 40 minutes like during November I'll do an extra 10k a day for the 30 days there and then during winter break when nobody else was erging I was on the machine doing 10k a day again still and it all adds up even just like an extra 5k which is 20 minutes even that adds up if you do that 15 times a month or 20 times a month because that it really adds up and you get a lot faster one of my favorite memories is easily from SRAA's um, the Scholastic Rowing Association of America's uh, championship race in 2019 that's easily like probably one of the most defining moments of my rowing probably as a career. Um, the reason for that is that race was literally the epitome of like hard work and just com comradeship and really everything that goes into rowing went into that race. I still think about that sometimes when I'm in the middle of a piece, when I'm in the middle of a piece, when I want to like motivate myself, I'll just think of what it was like to feel to finish that cross the finish line. And that 
makes my arm, the hairs of my arm stick straight up, and then it pushes me to finish the piece. I'd say that one of my strong points is just realizing what needs to be done. And that, that's not like a, like a specific thing you can point to, I guess, or not like a specific word you can shorten it down to. But it's just like, <clears throat> my, just my sophomore year, I realized if I want to be fast, I need to put in the work, right? And so I listened to what Joe said, and I did an extra 10K a day after practice, and it paid off, and it worked. And when we were training for youth nationals or we were training for SRAAs, what had to be done was double practices twice a day. And so we did that twice a day, and it worked. Rowing has definitely taught me how to like manage my time. Um, something funny I've noticed is that my grades are actually better during the on season than the off season. With rowing, you have to really optimize your schedule and prioritize things that are actually important. And that's something that our coach or my coaches have always drilled into me, either my novice year coach Will or Joe now, who talks about prioritizing your school academics before or over your rowing athletic experience because if you don't have good grades and you can't row, 